Do you need to wipe the screen off? We're at this place called Butcher's Nook. Uh, I've been wanting to come here since we got here and it's been a week and a half. I've heard great things about this place. Um, it's owned by some Mennonites and they bake fresh bread every single morning and they don't let anything that's a day old sit in the store for the next day. So everything is super fresh. So we're gonna go in, hopefully get some breakfast, get something to grill tonight for dinner, yep. and maybe get a fresh loaf of bread or something. Cinnamon rolls. Then these over here are filled with Bavarian cream, strawberry, and this is filled with apple. And then I have raspberry and lemon and white cream. I think so. These donuts are really tempting, so I don't know if I can go past them. Hey, you can get a few of that plus the breakfast. We don't care. <laughs> but chocolate. ground buffalo patties. We've never had a buffalo patty before, but it's a thing here, so we're gonna try it. They have really beautiful paintings here, and Megan's a big paint collector. I found that when I traveled to different places, like um, when I went to Puerto Rico and Italy, there were like street vendors or shops with some paintings in it from local artists, and they weren't too big and they weren't too expensive, but they reminded me of a memory that I personally had or a scene that I actually saw and it just when I looked at it it took me back to it so I thought how cool would it be to collect beautiful paintings from where you've actually been and every time you look at it you have all those memories flood back of your experience so we found beautiful paintings here and they're just gorgeous. That's yeah, really good. Well, that was a really cool place. We ended up getting some donuts and then some buffalo patties. We'll and make some- And a ham some... and cheese roll. Yeah, and a ham and cheese roll. I've so never had one. We'll eat some breakfast. It was really cute in there. Um, and they had a lot of stuff. We'll probably be back. Oh yeah, it's so cute. Really, really awesome place. So a big thumbs up from us. Falls. Okay. So we're here at the Swinging Bridge. It was about, what, about an hour, 45 minute drive, maybe two hours because we made some scenic stops. Always a good thing. But we're finally here to the Swinging Bridge and then the falls. It's We're, called um, it's called Kootenai Falls and and Suspended Bridge or something like that. Swinging, swinging Bridge. Oh yeah. Well, on Google Maps it's not swinging, but here it's swinging. Swinging Bridge. <laughs> sometimes on Google Maps called Suspension Bridge. Yeah, I think so. But here we go. We're excited to go see it.
This is not the swinging bridge. This is the... Keep on going. This is the... This is the very, very steady bridge. <laughs> Stable. I don't know if our camera can capture it, but the water is so blue here. So blue. And just looks so fresh. Like you could drink all of it. And it tastes so <laughs> yummy. <laughs> you can see the suspension bridge way off in the distance, and I'll try to play some footage from this spot where I'm zooming in on it. I don't have a very big lens on our camera, so you can barely see it, but it's over this like raging river behind me. <laughs> it looks pretty sketchy. I'm actually pretty nervous to go across it because um, I have a little bit of a fear of heights. <laughs> so this will be entertaining. What do you think? I can't tell if it looks better or worse <laughs> up close. It looks pretty sketchy up close, but at least it looks new. There's and people standing in the middle of it right now. Yeah, they look confident. And it hasn't broken in the past, only once in the past 10 years, so that's great. Wow, this is amazing. Hopefully I don't drop the camera. Do not drop that camera. The bridge does swing. They don't lie about that. No. Swings very well. <laughs> That's freaky. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Wow, the, the falls here are beautiful. The water's rushing so much, and just to look at the rocks and how they're eroding away, uh, the river's just really cutting a path through all this solid rock here. It's amazing. It sounds beautiful. That's terrifying. If you were like in a boat or something, Really amazing. Again, it's kind of like a jungle gym where you can just kind of climb all over the rocks and the different falls and stuff. What was your favorite thing about the falls? Ooh. I think, well, it's beautiful, obviously. I think the most fun part though is that. <sighs> we just climbed up out of the falls. Yeah. <laughs> I think the most fun part is that you can go climbing on parts of the exposed rock that's normally underwater. I think, can't say for sure, but I think it's probably underwater during the summer and later in the spring. But right now, the water is a little bit lower, so there's some exposed rock, and you can get really close to the waterfall and 
Um, it's really fun. A lot of climbing. Yeah, very beautiful out here just to see how the water's flowing and cutting the rock. Um, great place. We highly recommend it if you are in the area. Kootenai Falls. Kootenai Falls. As always, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please leave us comments because we love hearing um, feedback from you guys. Please let us know if you've seen anything cool in western Montana that we should go to or eastern Idaho up on the top. And um, if you liked this video, subscribe. It helps support us. It helps us know that you're there watching and that this is something that you enjoy and that brightens your week. So until next time. See ya. See ya. <laughs>